Yes. Yeah. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing awesome. How are you? Yes, we're here to promote the River Valley Home Health and Hospice Mixer. Um, it is it's Thursday. Thursday the 16th yeah, at 5.30 at, at the Chamber, 1251 Highway 95. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, so we have a, a unique challenge for you uh, this time around. It's different than we've done before. Uh, oh, that's scary. This time you guys are going to compete one at a time, and you don't get to see each other compete. Uh, we have a, a bit of a, a, a puzzle, I guess, for you in the next room. Hmm. And you're going to be competing against each other to with the best solution. There's, there's more than one way to skin this cat. And okay. the, the, best, the best puzzle completion wins. So uh, who, who do you guys want to go first? I'll go first. Yeah. I'm a problem solver, but it seems like every time I come in here and, and talk smack, I lose. So I'm not... That's true. Good luck. So you can sit there and, you can sit there and talk smack or... More likely. <laughs> what the heck? What's up there? Are those strawberries? No, it's a. No. Oh. That's a salad. I was like, I'm deathly allergic. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do about. It. She's getting a little. She's getting a little full of herself these last couple of wins, so I'm gonna have to bring her back down a notch. That's your guys' fault. You've boosted her up so much to make her feel like she's this superstar in the community. But now she can barely get her head through the door. Hey. Home helper, person, I am disabled and I cannot walk. And you are my home helper. Your job is to feed me the dinner at the table. It has to literally be at the table. You have to feed me the dinner at the table. But you don't have to be sitting at the table. You have to feed me the dinner at the table. Can I physically touch you? You can touch me, yes. All right, okay. I cannot walk. Okay. You cannot walk? I can't walk. Wait, how much do you weigh, Mackenzie? I weigh about 150 pounds. Oh, I can pick you up. That's easy. Okay. So I'm assuming like the most points is to get you at the table, but there's also this, and I could just <laughs> feed you by mouth. Hmm. Okay. Is this timed? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Is this a heavy table? Oh. <laughs> Just ignore me. Oh, that's a wobbly step. I'm about to be disabled too. <laughs> Your arms work. <laughs> All right, I think that's done, right? That's good. That's good. Hi. Hi. Are you done? Yeah, you weren't even entertaining the camera. I was. How do you think yeah. you did, Tina? I think I did very well. Do you think uh, do you think John will be able to come up with a better solution? No. Problem solver. No. No. He probably won't come up with a solution similar to mine. I'll be surprised if he does. It's pretty quick. You got through it pretty quick. Okay. Although it was awfully noisy back there. Was it? Yeah. All right, and John. I, and there was laughing. Just kind of upsetting. <clears throat> okay. We good? Yeah, you're up. All right. <coughs> the green screen. Oh, salad. Yum. Don't make the salad. Is this all real food? That's real food, yeah. I mean, it's edible, but. It looks sketchy. Okay. 
Okay, John. Here's the deal. Okay. You are a home helper. Okay. And I am disabled. I cannot walk. Mm -hmm. Your job as my home helper is to feed me the dinner at the table. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Mmm. <laughs> Dig in. Yum. Oh, they're coming. I think John did the same thing that I did for this challenge. All right. So, Tina, do you want to tell John what your solution was? I physically picked up the table and moved it to him. Which table? The table up here. I put the dinner on it, on the little table right here, physically picked it up, moved it down to him. So it was the exact table and the dinner. Okay. What did you do? Took the table down there, because uh -huh. he said, feed me dinner at the table. Uh -huh. I took the table that's down there, I drug it over there and fed him. It goes to show you what these hospice people and home health people have to go through. That is such a small thing compared and, and you know you have family that does it and I have, a, I have a wife that does that and a daughter and the things that they have to go through um to take care of people you know it, it really when you think about it cleaning up after them feeding them preparing stuff for them um, distributing meds all that kind of stuff there's a lot of work that goes into it there they are awesome people that get into that you got to have a big heart to, to get into that and do those kinds of things, so. All right, so this mixer, Thursday, 16th, 5.30, at the Chamber of Commerce. You know, there's a misnomer out there that this is strictly for chamber members. We encourage non-chamber members to come down and see what it's about. Also, more than one person per company is allowed to come. I've had a lot of people ask me that too, weirdly, and I just want to be clear that anybody from your company can come. Come on out, you don't have to call, just show up. There'll be food and drink and, raffle prizes and all kinds of good stuff. What? Don't forget, and the next day, the 17th, we have the grand reopening, ribbon cutting, and morning mixer at Firehouse Coffee. It's at 7.30 on the 17th at Firehouse. So I know that we're asking a lot for, from you to come to both of those, but come to both of those. Yeah, please, please. do.